Hi, hi, hello there, DC Gamer. So today we have the brand new Soul Searchers collection, which will last from the 29th of May to June 8th, with new dragons in it, new collection. But we also got a few things that changed as of this morning, and technically a bug fix for the birthday collection, which will also go through. There's quite a lot of stuff coming up, but you'll see here that we currently have a puzzle and a grid event on. So those are the two events that are ongoing right now. One ends on June 3rd, the grid event ends on June 5th, and then we're also going to be having a maze event and a runner event. So we've got those to look forward to, but we have this new collection here, which is the Soul Searchers collection. You can see it in the events panel here, Soul Searchers. And if we go, let's go, you'll see that if you can collect four of these dragon souls, for example, you can open up this collection chest. And inside this, you can get any two rewards out of this list. And it does actually have the High Priest Dragon in it or some gems. So you could just end up with one Orb of High Priest and a singular gem, which could be awful. And that's probably the most likely drop. But, you know, extra Heroic Orbs, I guess we can't complain too much. And it is just for getting four of these ghostly souls, dragon souls. The next part of this collection that we have is 10 breeding perks, which I know a lot of people want. And then we can also get our hands on Joker Orbs, legendary Jokers, which a lot of us want. But you'll need to collect the Ghost Souls and the Soul Vacuums, which are available in the event. Next one, we have this collection, which is two rewards out of this, which could be... It's still a decent amount of Joker Orbs no matter what, but you could also get Night Terror or Soul Stealer Orbs. Then we've got another one where we can get tons of Heroic Jokers, so this is a very tasty one. We've got another one that has Corrupted Dragons in it, so they're definitely making these Corrupted Dragons more common, it seems, at least these basic non-collection ones, but this is probably going to be quite difficult to reach. And then normally the final one is the Pay Only, Pay to Win section or Super Gem section only. But we do have the new Soul Dragon coming in these events, and he is another single element ancient world dragon. So just like Emperor Penguin, which we unlocked the other day, we have Soul Dragon, and uh, I would really like to pick up this guy to do some breeding with. But in terms of the actual events that we've got going on right now, we have this grid event ongoing and now normally with these grid events to get the final reward dragon it's typically around about the 20k mark just a little bit over 20,000 required but one thing to note about this grid event is that we do have a sputtering of insignias so you may end up going a slightly more expensive way to get your hands on the insignias but we've also got these event items so the jar of souls and when you open up each of these jars you could get a singular dragon soul up to five dragon souls so of course you'd be hoping for the times five drops on these and you know if you get a times five drop that's just that mini collection the times four gold uh, dragon soul collection you can open a chest immediately so that would be tasty but it is the jackpot out of those we've also got dragons such as necro which is terrifying uh we've got more event items like we've got the soul vacuum here we've got more insignias we've got this yokai dragon here we've got the legendary molluscular which is a cool guy but the problem is your boy soul is right towards the end of the free to play available section so this is going to be a tough one because you're going to have to pick like basically immediately. I mean, you can save up your currency and then decide a little bit later, but you're gonna have to really, really decide whether you wanna go for soul exclusively, which is gonna require you to really, really play very well in the puzzle event as well, and log in for every single reset, collect all of your grid currency, and watch every single one of your ads to hopefully get some more currency. That's the only way that you're really gonna get soul. And if you do go for soul, that's going to mean ignoring these ghost jars. It's going to mean ignoring potentially insignias, depending on, you know, which one's cheaper or which one's more expensive. You can probably get the insignias, but definitely the event items you're going to have to pick. Who's more important to you? Soul, who is just basically a breedable dragon. Uh, so a dragon that you'd use for breeding purposes. Or do you value finishing off this collection more? Which, if you want to finish off these later parts of the collection, like getting the Heroic Jokers and the Legendary Chest, you're going to have to be really focusing on these ghostly items. So that is my first 
tip to you in terms of this collection you've got to pick are you going to go for soul or are you going to go for this collection that is what you need to decide before you start spending in this grid event now in terms of the puzzle event as well of course we do have a new dragon in the form of almighty and he is a dream uh primary element dragon which is interesting with soul we got primal and legend as well he's mainly going to be a collection dragon but he is a mythical so you could always use him if you really wanted but we've also got beautiful milky way dragon aurelian soul guy we've got psychic in here as well which is a weird one but the main thing that people are going to be interested in of course are going to be the insignias which you can see that we do have like three lots of insignias on each of the the rows here which is very tasty we've got the soul jars we're back to a guaranteed eighth celebration chest which is fantastic and of course we've got titan egg chest but mainly if you want to go for soul for instance you would have to be picking up every single one of these grid coins in the top row that would be your absolute bare minimum that you would need to do for this because you can get 2k there 1.5k 1k 755k you know including um the uh grid event itself it's resets plus all of this what is it like seventeen thousand currency that you can get total uh because if you want to know you can get twelve thousand six hundred grid coins purely from resets this is on deep list and of course it shows you all of the available dragons as well and then of course with the puzzle event you've got to actually be doing the puzzle event to do well and get all of these rewards here and we just had a puzzle event recently so hopefully all the stuff from that one is like still in your memory for what you need to do but basically anyone that pre-bred for this puzzle event is going to have a major advantage when it comes to the breeding section because like just imagine if you already had the electric dragon breeding and the sea and light breeding prepared in your breeding dens you're going to have a massive uh, head start on everyone else now, those are the two events that are ongoing at the moment, and again, we do have more events coming up. There is something quite major that I do want to address, because we need to do a quest anyway at the moment, and we do have the move quest. We are going to have the Eternal Light quest coming back up in a second. But last time I did mention about the Redemption Dragons and their quest requirements being changed. Unfortunately, as of this morning, it appears that they have changed it back to how it was before. So Malice and Looter, if you didn't know, they for some reason had changed quest requirements and you only needed, what was it, a level 30 dragon? And with that level 30 dragon, you could finish off every single stage. Now, as of this morning, a few hours ago, for whatever reason, they've changed it. And you can see that right now it is now requiring me to have a level 41 looter dragon. So because I didn't gem the guy sooner, which is a shame because I've I just had him out. I am empowering him right now just to try and get as much as I possibly can out of actually getting the dragon. But this is going to mean all of these bonus insignias potentially are now out of our grasp unless they change it back again. But, you know, there's only two days, 23 hours left. Maybe they just didn't want us doing it in general. So that is a major, major bum out for a lot of people that were really, really hoping for it. Um, but at the end of the day, if you are someone that got tons and tons of extra malice or looter orbs, like I was doing tons of trading, loads of people were getting their hands on different redemptions, like ascended dragons, things like that. So, uh, you know, we got some benefits, but we were really hoping that it would continue past the other day. But it seems that as they've fixed, I say fixed, but uh, fixed the birthday collection issue, because if you didn't know, the birthday collection was actually impossible to finish, whether you were free to play or pay to win. Uh, now that they have made the event items purchasable with gems, uh, it seems that they've changed these quest requirements, so it's kind of a major L, to be honest, at the moment. Again, unless they change it back. Uh, but we've got this to do, we've got League Battles to do, which we will do in a second. But you'll notice that the birthday collection has continued into today, which it does mean it has been extended for 24 hours. The reason being that these uh, regular birthday gifts, at max, all that you could get if you got every single one of these birthday gifts in all the previous events, you could only get to a max of 34 of these birthday gifts. But you'll see now that we can indeed actually purchase these birthday gifts because they've put them in a collection offer. They're charging 55 each and there is a birthday gift in there. But 
you know, that's 55 for me. That would be at least three of them. Actually, what was it? Was it three of them or was it four of them? Three of them. And then if I wanted to finish off the final collection, that would also require a birthday hamper. But you can also still purchase the birthday hampers as well, thank goodness. But they are 99 gems each. You could get a single birthday gift. You could get two of them. But, you know, is it really worth spending that many gems on, you know, some heroic jokers, a legendary egg chest, a singular damage perk, birthday cake, and then of course you've got Titan Egg, Vampire Egg, Corrupted Egg, Phoenix perk. I mean, the 300-ish gems range is probably roughly worth it for both of these things. Of course, if you've got a few more of these birthday gifts than me, it would be a bit cheaper. But, you know, in general, it's just it, a major, major issue. The fact that they didn't make these birthday gifts actually free to play acquirable. Like, now they're charging gems for their screw up. You know, it's uh, not something I'm in support of personally. But, you know, at the same time, I hope that you managed to get the Corrupted Egg out of Dragon TV. If you want to know which one I got, it was actually the Electric Corrupted Titan. So there is that as well. But I guess we should go and do our League Battles while we're here. Don't forget that we do also have the ads where you can get puzzle moves at the moment. And you can actually potentially get your hands on a Corrupted Sea Dragon out of there as well. So I don't know why they're suddenly making the Corrupted Dragons in particular so much easier to get. Not that I'm complaining because, you know, we've had like the redemption quests, we had the ascended stuff going on. I am in full support of them making these sorts of dragons actually more available because I don't like the fact that they were just like basically VIP only dragons for so long. Of course, you can end up, uh, you know, trading for them, but you require so much in terms of resources to do that. Um, oh, I don't think we're going to get the last hit here. That for a lot of, oh we are actually nice that for a lot of players they just couldn't really get their hands on the corrupted which meant that ever getting corrupted legend or corrupted chaos would just require you to spend a load of gems in the in the uh, orb shop but you know it is what it is we expect that these dragons on average are going to be really difficult to get but if they're going to make them easier from now on that is fantastic so definitely be aware of all of the collections. If you are a new player that's sort of overwhelmed and you don't really know what's going on, uh, mainly with the collections, always, always, always keep in mind what is going on with the collections because like we've got uh, heroic Joker orbs, legendary Joker orbs, tons of dragons available, corrupted dragons available. Always, always, maybe every morning, just open this up and check what you can get if you want. Although, if you pick Soul, obviously you probably can't get most of those, so in which case you've given up on all of the collection items, but depends on what you've picked. <laughs> uh, that's the thing with this game. Generally, you can either choose, or it, it does come down to what your own choice is, either whether you're going to go exclusively for like breeding that month, or whether you're really going to focus on collection stuff. It is down to you as the player to pick. So like if you were say to me, Quacks, what should I pick? What should I pick? It's really your choice. Like, people do this all the time. It's not my game. I'm not the one playing your game. It's your video game. You can choose what you want to do. You can be a breeder. You can be a collector. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. So, wow, 79 HP, really. Uh, but you can play the game how you want. Of course, there are certain things that you can do to make or give you bonus things, and we can give slight recommendations. But at the end of the day, if you just want to pick up Soul because you really want to do tons of E5 breeding on dragons, you do that. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You can do that. That can be your choice and it is a fine choice to make. But you just need to... Oh my god, why is everyone surviving on like zero HP at the moment? Uh, but yeah, it's your choice to make. Just make sure that you stick with that choice because like you don't want to say, oh yeah, I'm going to go for soul. So I'm going to ignore all the event items and then halfway through change your mind because chances are if you do that, then well, you just screwed yourself basically. So don't do that. But, you know, I guess my next goal personally is going to be to save up my grid currency, see how well we do in this puzzle event. Uh, because I have been breeding actually quite a lot of new things, hatching quite a lot of new things. We've got the Redemption Dragons, we've got tons of orbs for them thanks to Malice's quest. 
Ugh, this, this food collecting. No, I don't think I'm ready for this yet. No, I didn't pop in my food ready, so we're just going to have to wait for now. And see, this is another thing that you can be aware of with puzzle events, making sure that you have the food section ready, making sure that you've got quests ready, things like that, making sure that you've got an egg ready to hatch, for instance. So, like, if you've got a permanent speed up happy hour, for instance, you could just, like, throw in... An electric egg like you could get the gold let's just give an example like get this and then you can just speed it up or in this case we could just wait 30 minutes and hatch it and then we can move on to the next task and again if you want to know what the next upcoming breeding or hatching task is going to be this is also available it should be available on ditlep when they hopefully ever update it but it's also on deet list it is the same every single time so like once we hatch this electric dragon the next quest is going to be breed one uh, dragon with C and primal so that is going to be the next upcoming quest so we could do that in advance if we wanted to so that we are ahead in terms of our puzzling but the only other thing that we really have to do at the moment is just going to be this upcoming quest but that's going to be in 20 minutes of course if you've got these other quests to do at the moment definitely a good time to get them done during the puzzle event not outside of them but man, I am disappointed in terms of those redemption quests, personally. But the other thing that we've got is also the Gluttonous Hollow. And now, compared to last week, this is pretty bad. Um, I don't think there's any other way for me to say it, but this this Wizard's Hollow is bad. <laughs> and I don't like Wizard's Hollow as it is. Uh, but this time we have Gluttonous available, which, you know, it is a food earner. So if you manage to collect him, it's just free food permanently if you get him hatched. The thing is, the rewards from this, you need 11 gold runes just to get up to 5 million food, but it could be 500k. That is awful compared to last week's chess. And then in the blue runes, you just get 769,000 food. Of course, this depends on your player level as to how much you get. But this hollow really, really sucks. If there's ever been a wizard's hollow to not waste your gems on, it's this one. This one is absolutely awful. Like, don't... If there's going to be one that you gem, don't make it this one. I would say if you just pick up a few extra gems, for instance, maybe a couple of uh, rare dragon orbs or of a dragon that you actually want, maybe you can just claim them and just exit out. But... Like, oh, it would have been lovely to pick up those 12 gems. But, like, look, I don't care. I'm not even spending five gems on this. It is not worth it. It's not even worth five gems this time. I don't know why they've given such an awful hollow, but, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. But I guess that is most of the stuff that is currently ongoing in this event. Of course, we've still got these chests in Master Arena right now where you can get your hands on Corrupted Warb, um, orbs, we've got Sheep Dragon, and then at my current one we can get Ultimate or Battler Orbs. It's mainly the Corrupted War Dragon Orbs that I'm after, because if we look at the amount of orbs that I've got at the moment, you'll see that I'm actually at 108 Corrupted War Orbs. And we're probably going to get quests for this guy, although he will need to be empowered. But having 108 Orbs means that I could, if I wanted to, summon him during a summoning happy hour now. Uh, as long as I've got 99 Legendary Jokers available. And Redemption Conquest, we actually need one more uh, set of trading for him. Just a singular orb, and then we'd be able to actually summon him as well. So we got a lot of stuff recently. So, like, if I show you uh, Redemption Orbs that we got, we got all those Conquest Orbs, we got Redemption Looter, I'm currently summoning Redemption Brutality, we got Orbs for Wrath, Wolf, Blade, and that was just in exchange for those Malice Quests. So those were absolutely nuts. I think there's going to be lots of Redemption trading at the moment. Oh yeah, and I did get a few orbs for Mr. Ascended Deity there, as you can see. We're, at, we're only at 48 out of 200, so we've still got a ways to go, but that is a brilliant pickup. I actually really like this guy, especially with that um, primary element. I just like him. I think his design's quite cool as well. So you can get tons of value out of trading because, like, for instance, right now I have 864 Legendary Trade Essence left uh, because I did quite a lot of trading it might not look like I've done lots of trading, but I have. But we've still got 800 trade essence left to do uh, for any legendary stuff. So we've got all of that to do. Also, 
But my goodness, I, I don't know what to think about these collections. I'm personally really, really disappointed that one, support never came back to me and gave me the piñata that I should have had because my ads completely broke. And I'm not talking about the global compensation. I'm saying that my ads broke separately to that and they haven't even responded to me. So I'm really not impressed with Social Point at the moment uh, in terms of this collection, which you can see is why I gave up on the last week. And then especially this 11th birthday, there is no excuse for them making these birthday gifts only count up to 34 max and then requiring us to purchase them using gems. It's their screw up. They should have given free gifts out to everyone, at least one of them. But the fact that they haven't is just scummy, to be honest. Like there is nothing else to say about it apart from that. I guess the only thing I'm really happy about is the fact that we have been able to open up three of these non chests thanks to that malice quest but the only thing i've been getting out of these chests has just been gems anyway so <laughs> don't feel like you've been hard done by if you didn't manage to do the malice quest i was screwed over by this game but anyway that is everything going on at the moment if you do need any tips on actually doing the grid event itself grid is just going to be quite obvious you just go the way that you need to go either you're going for soul or you're going for the event items like there is no other way to go in grid it is not complicated really it's just you've got to choose are you going for soul or are you going to go and pick up the insignias and the vacuums and the ghost boxes that is it in terms of puzzle itself of course we want to be playing this like candy crush saga so you'll want to be looking for any uh, ways to you know combine say fours so that then you can clear out a whole row of things instead of just like three uh, and it's pretty simple but you know the better you are at actually identifying when you can create fours fives or certain patterns to give you these special tiles you know the better off you're gonna be but there is a lot of rng involved with this as well and sometimes it's just gonna come down to how lucky you get with you know particular drops and things like that so keep all of that in mind when you are going through this event and you know if you are going specifically for instance for the top row you can try and make sure that you say focus on the pineapples first and then do the others but you'll normally just end up finishing off all of them as you go through because sometimes you're just going to run out of pineapples to combine or it might be more efficient to combine i don't know the grapes in that instance because you can clear like 15 tiles instead of just three so um keep it in mind anyway you can focus on things but it's mainly just going to come down to how many puzzle moves you have usually it'll take about 850 to a thousand puzzle moves to get the new dragon but that is very ish it's very much a guesstimate and does change depending on your luck and also how efficient you are with your puzzle moves so that is the general advice with this event but make sure that you spend your puzzle moves in good time because it does take quite a while to spend all of the puzzle currency uh, if you want to save it all up until you've got say 800 then you can but you might be a little bit low to get the dragon and you know if your goal is the grid coins you might have to get a little bit more than that on average but anyway best of luck with all of this i hope you got everything you wanted out of the collections if you didn't i'm sorry social point pick up the slack for goodness sake <laughs>